Well, I suspect Jill's guest this morning would agree with you, Andrew. Uh, this is great for your garden. And uh, Jill, the rain seems to be holding off where you are. So this is good it news. Yes, it is good news. But you know what? I want to thank Diane and Rick for having us into their home this morning. Diane came out and lent me a pair of wellies <laughs> because it is a little soggy out here. But you know what? It's beautiful and we couldn't be in a more beautiful location this morning, Tara. I mean, this yard I is covet. spectacular. I covet this yard. I know. And so we're all going to be inspired this morning towards your landscaping goals this summer. And Steve's going to help us along the way here from ULS. So good morning. Hi. Great to have you. How you doing? Hi, we're doing great. Okay, so we're talking about landscaping here. Obviously, when you started in this yard, it did not look like this. So what are the three stages? Where do we start? Well, before we get going, I just wanted to have a shout out for Ted's tie because that thing's rocking. He's got the <laughs> green tie on this morning, tying in with the landscaping show. He's always thinking. I just think he's just such yeah. a visionary. He's a style, yeah, he's a stylish guy. Yeah, he's got a lot of colors he's going on this morning. That green tie ties it together, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I will agree with you there. He is a visionary, our Ted, when it comes to fashion. Okay, you're a visionary when it comes to landscaping because this is something that you guys completed. Uh, how long was this in the making? Well, you know what? When you look at landscaping, it's really important to look at all the processes. So, you know, a lot of people want to rush right in, but I think the first thing you really have to concentrate on is the design process. Okay. And there's lots of things to consider when you're looking at the design, but it's really going to be the, the map of what you're going to do. After that, you know, we might really need to look at the different construction components. Mm -hmm. So that ranges from retaining walls to hardscapes to softscapes, planting and trees. And then finally, the thing you have to consider is what I call your maintenance commitment. And that's how much time are you gonna spend looking after your yard? Because right. a lot of times people say, I want a beautiful yard, I want all these plants, and then they realize they've just cut their golf season in half because they're gonna be out in the yard all the time. Yeah, you don't wanna bite off more than you can chew. Um, okay, so that's great. So, I mean, some of this, it, you need to hire a professional, right? So the wall, for example, that would be something that you wouldn't be able to do on your own. Well, yeah, you can see there's two retaining walls in this yard. The, the one in the background is actually a fully poured concrete retaining wall, and that's retaining quite a big slope. So that one had to be engineered. So right. we need a full engineer stamps on that. The, the wall in the foreground, which is a modular retaining wall, that's a readily available product at uh, most uh, landscape suppliers here in Calgary. And that's a project that if you want to be the weekend warrior, that's something that's a little bit more forgiving because if you do make a mistake, it's like a puzzle, you can take it apart and redo it. Uh -huh. um, and uh, it's something that you could handle on your own. But again, you got to, like you said, not bite off more than you can chew. Right, because you don't, I'm, unless you really love yard work, you don't necessarily want to spend all of your time here. Um, okay, that's spectacular. You have a can of spray paint. We're going to tell you what that is used for, a little fun project maybe for you and your honey if you're getting into landscaping. And also we're going to talk about pruning, correct pruning. All of that has taken place here this morning. We're having a beautiful time here in the mist. Guys. In